Okay, it's me again. I hope you <laughs> don't have enough of my videos. I'm actually recording here from the red zone. That means I'm in a basement and my wife is at home. She's upstairs. So that's called the red zone. I have to be very careful here. Don't talk too loud. Don't do any funky stuff. Maybe don't mention her <laughs> to leave. However, what I would like to talk about today is uh, that is some kind what I did wrong in the beginning. So if I see the uh, update process between Calculate Linux, which is based on Gen 2, compared to Arch, for example. When I used Arch for years, some a uh, uh, year ago and for years, um, I used uh, Terminal and I used Zulu Pac-Man SYYU and that always did a good update because it um, refreshed the repros everything and uh, you have a good update. So lots of these updates errors people had which used Permac, I uh, didn't have that, but which was good. So for the Arch people I recommend just go for that, uh, Zulu Pac-Man SYYU and you will have a good update. But you could do something like with Emerge in Gentoo, right? So you would use Emerge. In Calculate Linux, I strongly recommend, I would open this up, you see this little arrow here? This banded arrow? Here it pops the window up. That is the Calculate Linux updater. And you can see it's getting active here, it's doing some, some stuff, it's reading things. It's exactly doing what it's supposed to do. And it shows up. It's, I mean, as I said, Calculate Linux is a rolling release. It's based on Gen 2. It just has some fine tools and some fine, I would call it government, uh, the developer team looking after it. And yeah, I think they do a really, really good job. So, and they put some tools in it. I will make a video maybe more about these tools they put in place. Uh, one is here, is that updater. So instead of using a terminal and starting emerge, update, upgrade, whatsoever, or sync, all these things, you rather go with that update tool. This update tool here, if you can see that, uh, system configuration, update server, HTTPS, blah, 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 mirror.cedia.org.ec slash calculate. So it means you get some goodies which the developer team from calculate has put into the system which makes it smooth, nice to operate, easy to maintain. So you don't have the whole hustle, um, like if you have Gentoo from scratch. Like if you see, um, if you get something from scratch, usually then your network doesn't work, right? So if you look for it here, I've got Bell, Desktop, TARDIS, Bell has nothing, TARDIS is off. I'm surprised to still see it. And I've got Voyager, so here it goes. And if I go to Voyager, I've got Data, Next Hot Plex, Win Data. And so that's from my free NAS server. For for NAS box, I really recommend free NAS. It's very nice. Maybe one day, if I have the money, I will have a look at uh, Xenology and Drobo. Drobo, for example, for like my wife, Drobo is nice because you don't have to have any IT knowledge about it. For free NAS, you need some, uh, but very easy, very nice, nice. And here I've got my data, and here I've got my next cloud stuff. So if I want to have something in a shortcut. Uh, just with Nextcloud, be aware, if you do it like this, you go to your files on the Nextcloud, it will not show up in your clients because it's not registered in the database. So this is just to get something out, right? So if I want something for my Nextcloud, so I don't have to use my Nextcloud client, which is running here. Ooh. See, I've got lots of little things here. But I'll make an extra video about it. And by the way, this is running here, Calculate Linux. My update is done. You see, so what is it going to do? A listing packages for installation. So it tells me what's going on. It's like a, p a Python, uh, OpenSSL, uh, Qt Core, I, whatever your tails, <laughs> and something you can't pronounce either, something with Chrome. However, so here, would you like to merge these packages? Don't you see um, terminal? Even though I'm sure there was a, a terminal command which uses the uh, calculate Linux update. Uh, implementation but why not just use this I mean as I said I want like I would like to have it simple so this arrow pops up I click on it it checks everything then it tells me what it wants to update and it asks me can I do this and I can say yes so what it does now is um, not everything has to be compiled so I don't have to sit yet here and stop the video for the next hours and then I 
come back successfully look what Magento did you know <laughs> compiling Google Chrome in, already in four hours so <laughs> however uh, while this is running I could show you something what I have here this little symbol you see it's called HTOP and I open up and now you all are wondering Dirk you genius how did you get a launcher with HTOP on it yeah I'm going to share this with you guys so what I did you can do it in many ways. I think uh, Whisker menu allows you to add something here. Can't find it, so we, we skip this. So then you go here, say create launcher. Because if you look for, in the menu here, if you look for htop, it doesn't show. So there's no htop. But if I go in my nice uh, graphical package manager in uh, Portal, if I look for htop, there it is. It's already installed but it doesn't show up right but if I use a terminal drain, I just type in the secret word htop and there it is so if I would like to have it in a launcher because I don't want to always type around as I said I like it simple I want to have one click and off it goes so I create a launcher and with, in my wisdom I called this launcher htop and then I put the command so I put in htop in my wisdom here it goes you see it shows that and then no working directory, nothing, just say run in terminal. And as I said, I've got my own little um, collection in my uh, next cloud image file. Here's my next cloud, here's my icon folder. Each top, here are some. Let's try this one here. Duran, Duran, now. Oh, look at this. Now I've got an H top thing here. I double click on it. Launch anyway. Duran, there it is. And if I would like to have it on a panel, I'll just move it here and say yes, create panel. So now I can delete this here. I would like to have a clean desktop. There, off you go. And I've got two htops. That is double genius, isn't it? Look at this. htop and htop. So that's how you do it. Most distros might have that already in place. Uh, I've figured out a few don't have this. But that's how you do it. You just will create a launcher put the command htop in, call it htop in your wisdom and then say run in a terminal and then you have Duran, you have htop there it goes now while I showed you my super genius uh, create launcher trick um, this has been already installed now it says would you like to unmerge these unused packages so it's cleaning up your system you don't have all the clutter hanging around I mean it's small stuff but clutter it's not like Windows clutter where it stays in a registry and blows up your registry and registry and your sh boot up time takes forever and then it crashes or corrupts and yeah forget about it uh, how to make Windows 10 secure you can't okay so that, that, it's not worth a video isn't it so I can't make a video about Windows 10 security so however here we did this say yeah do please unmerge this and get rid of it for some reason if you want to interrupt the whole thing you just go and break the process and you start the whole thing again because it will pop up yeah I did this that's how I know it and usually it, it continues without any trouble or breaking the system whatsoever so my advice here you see everything is done my advice is uh, unlike Arch in Calculate Linux, go for this little updater and use it. Use, run your updates with that and you will have success. You won't have any trouble, hustle whatsoever. Uh, I must say Calculate Linux never broke my system. I used it before, I'm back to it. I'm happy that I'm back to it. And how did I get back to it? Um, I have the gift of buying computer hardware, which is a nightmare. Um, like then I got from my wife, the, oh, I should say that that loud, still red zone, it's hard to be carefully, and got her HP Pavilion computer. And I was running uh, Corora on it, which is Fedora 26 thing, and oh, it looked nice, everything is great, but as I said, my wireless mouse, um, if the laptop goes to sleep, it, the mouse doesn't work anymore, it's not possible. A reboot is the only chance to, um, to, to make it work. And I had the same thing, um, I think it was with Solid XK, which is a nice Debian distro. And yeah, well, I went astray with um, with Calculate Linux because after I used it the first time, I thought, oh, you dog, you go vanilla, you get the Gentoo thing. And I did. I used Fun2 actually, which is the same ish. 
And after 28 hours compiling something, what I did wrong, um, yeah, <laughs> I didn't want to have any more vanilla Gen 2 or Fun 2. Because it's not Fun 2 anymore to watch it <laughs> for 28 hours, you can't use your computer. Having said this, uh, Gen 2 is used here with Calculate Linux, it's a good system. Um, I'm just not, not uh, system mechanics, I want to use it. My computer the way I want it, I want it fast, I want it stable, I want it reliable, and I want to do whatever I want to do. And I don't want it to spy on me, that's for sure. And if it does updates or whatsoever, I would like it to ask me, not like um, other operating systems which just do the updates whenever they want. So you switch your nice Windows 10 computer on because you have something urgent to do, and then you get this window, oh, please do not shut down your computer, we're running an update. And uh, after four hours, you can actually really do your very important stuff sh very quick, right? So no can do. However, so that was the update, that was how easy it is. Uh, for the art users, I can say, uh, if you run updates, run it in a terminal, use sudo uh, pacman syyu. And that helped me from many little glitches Pac-Man had or, or Pamac had. And well, that was great. But as I said in Arch, I didn't like that there was always a glitch. There was always something that just doesn't, doesn't work. And having said this here with Calculate Linux, I just don't have it. Um, it's not perfect, nothing is perfect, because you always have different developers developing things and you put that all together in one system. Um, but here, in, as I said, Calculate Linux, I like it a lot, it's stable, it's... Um, oh yeah, don't get me wrong, I'm not using Firefox anymore. I do not uh, support anything spying on me, and if somebody wants to, without asking me, collecting my clicks and stuff like this, then no. I mean, it's the same with... Uh, Tra uh, websites tracking. You can say uh, send down track message. Yeah, it's like to, uh, telling a thief, uh, would you please not break into my house? Sure, he will not. <laughs> you know. However, we're living in an upside down world. This is what it is. In my opinion, uh, Get Calculate Linux is a very nice operating system. I'm using XFCE. You can run GNOME here, you can run KDE Plasma, you can run whatever you want. I don't want it. Uh, as I said, GNOME is. Even the file manager is a joke. You can't even see how much space you have. You know, it looks like if you open this up here, you can see 16 items, free space, 12.5 gigabytes. And if you have um, GNOME running, this is empty and the whole thing is uh, blank. It's, it's good for nothing, in my opinion. So Thuna here is totally superior to the files or whatever they call it. That poor little thing they use for file management in GNOME. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm really not sorry for the GNOME fans. <laughs> I use GNOME, and as I said, I have a, for my gaming. As I have this uh, Primus or Optimus laptop here, I use uh, I have two different versions of uh, Linux distros which install the NVIDIA graphic card. Um, once I have money again. Um, I hope to get again a computer with an NVIDIA graphic card where I can run everything then on my Calculate Linux because that's what I would want to do. Um, I have always a second distro in based on a di dis different uh, Linux base. Like um, if you have something Ubuntu, get something else. If you have something Gentoo, get something like Ubuntu or Debian. Or but do not go for vanilla Debian because you would go to their forum and then you get banned in no time if you say something, which is maybe not political correct but true. Uh, it's not wanted anymore. I said it's an upside down world. You can't do that anymore. However, so just in case, because if something gets screwed up with an update, um, you can still use your computer. You know, you're Okay, if Gentoo would screw something up, or if you would use Arch, you like Arch, so you use Arch and you have uh, cal Linux Calculate. So you do an update in Arch, it's toast, uh, black screen, you don't have the time to do something because you want it to work. Just uh, do boot into your Calculate Linux, which you should use in the first place, but however, um, and then you do your thing, right? And when the Arch fix is out, then you go and fix your Arch again. <laughs> and then maybe then you could start considering maybe I should just use Calculate Linux in the first place. And have something more stable or maybe a long time support system in the background, which is not too likely to break down so quick, right? 
Yeah, do not have Windows. Uh, do not support it. I really do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. However, so this was it. Um, don't go in the terminal when you use Calculate Linux. Just use the updater provided by Calculate Linux, and you will be fine. And yeah. I think that was it for now. So I'm still in the red zone. I have to be very careful here. So I will sneak out of this room and uh, see if my wife is still um, doing voice over peepholes on the internet. Because if I upload that video at this time, I will never hear the end of it. So once that video is up, that means I was safe to do so. All right, guys. So I have a few new, few ideas what I would like to bring. Uh, one will be security, but that is, I think, a series I have to bring out. And little things I do before, I guess something, um, I will have this water fox covered here, which I, it's a nice alternative to Firefox, because if you don't want somebody spying on you, you don't use Firefox anymore. Um, Thunderbird, that's still a very nice email client for me, I like it. I use Chromium because if you go to different websites, uh, it will translate for you, oh, that's nice. Do I go for Google Chrome? Mm, you know... I like my privacy, I really do. Yes, I have a Gmail account and with that everything is open. But I can, when I come to the security, I'll show you some ways how you can search stuff like if a friend of you has an illness and you Google for it, all of a sudden, with your own normal browsers whatsoever, all your search is coming back or whatever you do, it comes back. Oh yeah, look about this illness, there's a cure, there's some special medicine, there's that and that and that. And, that. and all of a sudden you're associated with what you were searching for. Oh, you don't want that, <laughs> because you have that for lifetime, you just check something, because you were nosy. So there are ways of working around that you don't get caught in, in this struggle and all this stuff. But that will be another video, and I should start writing stuff down, I guess. However, this is what it is in a moment, and I hope you liked that video, I tried to keep it, to keep it short. Uh, subscribe and like my videos. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. I will try to do make at least uh, a daily video, even now when I'm in a red zone. That's still till Sunday. Sunday, most likely, I will not be able to make a video because I have to uh, drive the whole day. Um, okay, this is it, guys. Uh, wish me luck. I will upload the video as soon as I can. Cheers. Bye-bye.